what's going on you guys it's your boy dmd and i know i'm sounding kind of groggy i've kind of had a rough past 24 hours a lot has been going on uh but all that aside uh, i hope you guys are doing well uh it's wednesday it should be the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th today. So I hope you guys are having a good last day of the month. Uh, today I decided I'd come to you guys with a dino profile. I know I have not uploaded a dino profile in a minute, but I've kind of fallen out of favor with this deck. I just haven't been playing it as much as I've been playing Zodiac, but I've been playing nothing but Zoo, so that's probably why. But this deck is still... It's like the tier one deck of the format, like the sleeper deck. Uh, even though there is um, Invoke Dogmatica and all these Dogmatica Dragma variants. Uh, and there's also Infernoble Knight, which is like tier two. But I wanted to bring you guys this profile today just to kind of show you guys where I've gone with the deck and what I've decided is my preferred build. I am sticking with the True King variant. I'm not going into the just blind going second and UCT beat down. I do like the combo variant of the deck, and so as you'll see in the video, that's kind of what the, the theme of the deck is. It's just to combo with cards like Agnimizod and Lithosogen, and even Archosaurus uh, to a degree, just to end on somewhat oppressive boards where you can control the game with both UCTs, Logias, and in some cases VFD. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the list. So as you can already tell, as I kind of alluded to earlier, this is more of the combo variant, which explains a lot of the True King cards, and to some degree uh, even includes things like set rotation that you wouldn't actually think is like a combo card, but given that it gets you Diagram, and Diagram can then go ahead and get you a True King and pop your babies and let you combo off. It's kind of a combo card, but at any rate, let's go ahead and I'll just kind of break down the list card for card and explain my choices. All right, so starting off, we've got two copies of UCT, one Archosaur. We've got triple copies of Soul Eating Oviraptor. We've got triple copies of Baby Sarasaurus double copies of Petite Pteranodon, triple copies of Miscellaneousaurus, one copy of Giant Rex, one copy of Dino Wrestler Pancratops, three copies of True King Agnimizod, one copy of Lithosigem, three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, three copies of Lost World, one copy of Terraforming, one copy of Dragonic Diagram, triple copies of Fossil Dig just to search out your dinosaurs, one copy of Foolish Burial, and we're moving on to three copies of Pot of Extravagance, double double evolution pill, one copy of Set Rotation, and finally triple copies of Infinite Impermanence to round out the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck, we've got triple copies of Logia, we've got double copies of Evolzar Dolga, one copy of VFD, Triple copies of Appaloosa. The reason I'm only playing one copy of Calamities is because I've got triple Appaloosa, and Appaloosa is a lot more accessible than Calamities is, so I figured that I would just play the three Appaloosa and then the one Calamities. Moving on, we've got triple copies of IP Mask Arena. This can set up plays with Unicorn during your opponent's turn. And then finally one Link Karibo, just for the ability to get Archosaur engraved so you can set up UCT. The sideboard, we've got Triple Judgment, Triple Evenly, Triple Forbidden Droplets, Triple Copies of Cosmic Cyclone, and finally we've got Triple Copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit to round out the side and to round out the entire deck. Starting with the build itself, I'm playing, instead of the synchro combo heavy version of the deck, I'm playing the True King version. Uh, I know that a lot of people like the synchro version because you can end on cards like Herald of the Arc Light and other really, really strong end board extra deck monsters. Uh, but I found that this version requires you to play less bricks. I literally refuse to play Jurak Aolo in any dinosaur list ever. 
just because that card is so bad when you draw it that it almost doesn't even justify playing it. So for that reason, I really wanted to opt to just do the more uh, true king heavy than just the synchro combo variant. I'm not a fan of that because it requires you to play, again, too many garnets. It also inhibits you from playing Pot of Extravagance, which I've found corrects several issues within dinosaurs as a deck. So taking that aspect into consideration, uh, I just chose to play this version of the deck over the Synchro variant. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of gameplay just to kind of show you what dinosaurs can do this format. Uh, I did not actually have time to play a full match, but this is a game against Salad. Having played Salad for a couple of months, uh, I actually know the matchup pretty well. I know what to hit. Uh, and as you guys can see with what I end up hitting with uh, Ash Blossom, uh, it ends up really making it difficult for him to play the game. And by the time I get around to my turn, uh, my hand is just absolutely stacked. So he normal summons Foxy, finds a Rage off the top, summons Balinx, and I Ash the Balinx. Now the reason for this is if I can make him have to hard reincarnate, uh, he's going to lose like a lot of advantage. Um, he, as you can see, that's what he's doing. He's trying to hard reincarnate the Sunlight Wolf, and he ends up doing it. Uh, on, in my turn, I activate Mist to start off, and that just pretty much puts a blanket on my entire turn. Uh, he's forced to rage and pop the Lost World. Um, he tries to pop the Archosaur, but it's immune. And then he realized, oh, wait, I, I'm going to get OTK'd, so he just scoops it up. The next match I'm playing against Dragon Link, and this sort of exemplifies the power of Lost World. Being able to chain block from cards like Cypher and Gear Gamma, which my opponent opened, uh, against cards like Oviraptor uh, is really strong. So I'll activate the Lost World, and then I'll ch uh, normal summon the Oviraptor, uh, chain blocking the Oviraptor, sending the Misk, and I summon Archosaur from the deck off Misk. Um, I pop the Giant Rex, and then I use Oviraptor's effect to pop the token, and then summon out uh, Pit, uh, Pankratops off of Petite. I summon uh, UCT from the deck, and then banish a Giant Rex to make a Lagia. So he tries to break this board, as you can see. Um, I'm able to really hold out while he's comboing off. I want to get to the point where he has enough monsters on board where if I UCT him, it'll just like end his entire turn. So I opt for it right now and he just scoops it up because he can't really do anything with all his materials face down. So the following game, I'm playing second and he pretty much has full combo. I Ash his Striker Dragon, uh, but he does have triple tactical talents and he shuffles the extravagance back instead of drawing two which really really hurts as you can see he's just like got full combo to oblivion so he can just do pretty much whatever he wants he makes link cross uh, using the romulus summons two tokens then activates quick launch to get a rocket tracer uh, has red md in hand uh, and then just continues to just go off makes Marshall Matter Marcher and goes into Needle Fiber for the Violon Cube, makes Herald, which turns off like my graveyard, so I can't really do a whole lot from this position. Uh, he continues to combo off. He makes Elfie and Pisty so he can summon Brotar from the deck and search the Black Dragon. He makes uh, Spheres and then summons Rocket Tracer back from the Banished Pile. Union Carriers me and at that point he's just able to go completely off um, he then makes Warload savage dragon and equips from the deck the buster lock so i have to deal with no graveyard a bounce and a savage dragon i draw imperm for turn and i try to break the uh, herald but he just bounces my pancratops and from that position like i try to play through it in main phase two and try to summon out the uh, UCT from the deck, but he just negates the pill, and then I basically can't play. 
So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little video that I brought to you about dinosaurs. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I tried to play through that last board the best I could, but I mean, he just had everything, and I couldn't really navigate through that uh, after having the extravagance ripped out of my hand. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like and leave a comment down below. It's me, it's me, it's that DMD. And also, if you have any questions regarding the build, please let me know in the comment section below. But your boy is out.